everybody welcome back to my channel to click on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button so today we're gonna to be talking about netflix's newest film the trial of the chicago seven So the trial of the Chicago 7 is rated R. It is 2 hours and 10 minutes long. It was released on Netflix October the 16th. It is directed by Aaron Sorkin. Um, it is considered a drama thriller. And it is actually based on the infamous 1969 trial of the seven defendants charged by the federal government with conspiracy and more arising from the countercultural protests in Chicago at the 1968 Democratic National Convention. Now this also does have a star-packed cast. Sasha Baron Cohen, Eddie Raymond, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Yahya Abdul-Martin II, Jeremy Strong, Mark Rylance. We also get a nice little cameo for, uh, from Michael Keaton. Now straight off the bat, I'm so happy that I actually decided to watch the movie because I actually was going to wait till it got later to the end of the month so I can incorporate it into my monthly tier list because right now I'm trying to focus more on my uh 13 nights of Halloween well actually today I decided to rename it thanks to Twitter to 13 uh nights of fright so that's kind of what I'm working on right now that little mini series that starts tomorrow uh but I really wanted to come in here and quickly talk about this movie it is such a great movie it is a I believe a, a Oscar contender for best picture director screenplay editing and even for an actor or supporting actor honestly you guys I really don't know who the main actor is in this movie I'm going with it's possibly Eddie Raymond to be honest with you Sasha Eddie uh, Yaya I think they are all contenders to get either an actor or supporting actor uh, for the performances in this movie because they did amazing like, literally you guys there was like no small roles in this film like there's just everybody's part in the movie honestly had a purpose it was so good and I don't feel anybody really got overshadowed by everybody else's performance now this is more of a courtroom a drama type of movie we do get flashbacks of you know stuff building up to the riot that got them you know detained and and you know on trial for for this this thing um it is very much a political trial uh Sasha oh my god you got Sasha Baron Cohen Ugh. give me a moment with your friend I've never been on trial for my thoughts before. To me, honestly, he's my favorite character in this story. He does absolutely amazing. I really, really hope he gets nominated for something because he did absolutely amazing. Yes, you guys, the same guy who plays this guy and this guy and this guy does an amazing, amazing performance. I honestly i'm not like a huge fan of his i really don't like a lot of his characters to be honest with you i don't really get his humor uh, now this movie i know is not going to be for everybody like i said it is a very much political type of trial and you know it's not for everybody and it is based on you know real life events even um more importantly than just politics it is about police brutality so if that's not really what you like to see i mean who wants to see that i know even though the movie is a little bit over two hours honestly i feel like it really flew by the damn judge judge uh julius hoffman oh, I, just, I can't with that man he pisses you off so much like how the hell are you even a judge i i i don't know to what extent he was actually written to be this disliked or if the actual real life judge was this like stupid and was started by the chicago police department sustained nobody objected it's the decisions that he makes and and the things that he says and then the the injustice that he gives to one of the the eight i feel overall it was a great story i truly enjoyed every bit of these two plus hours honestly i wouldn't even have minded for it to have been a little bit more than this so at the beginning we do get kind of like an opening montage kind of deal which is how we get introduced to all these um, characters all these people there is a particular really harsh injustice that's done uh to yaya's character and apparently that part was actually true from what i've heard if i if i can find uh, the uh, the drawing i'm gonna incorporate it here it's gonna be kind of like the spoiler just to kind of prepare you guys he does get bound uh, because he is speaking out his mind uh, for injustice that is, you know, coming towards his way because of certain things that are arise with his particular case. Again, I don't want to really get into it, but the fact that they actually incorporated this part into it, I actually really kind of dug because it seems like something that Hollywood would, would bring up, right? Because, you know, you always see these based on a true story kind of uh, movies, but, you know, really what 
truth is it to these stories because you know for all we know it's just the names you know it's just the location that they're in uh, but this right here like when i first saw it i was like there's no way that this was like a real thing that actually happened it's just hollywood being hollywood overall the trials of the chicago 7 is actually a really really great movie it's one of my favorite movies so far of 2020 with all that said i'm gonna go ahead and give it a large popcorn rating of course um if you've seen the trials of the chicago 7 let me know down below what did you guys think about it did you like it did you, like it? Did you hate it was it just not for you have you ever heard of this particular trial like the real actual story but these are all my thoughts on the trial of the chicago 7 i hope you guys enjoyed before you guys click on this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye